What's up guys, All Guns here and today I'm bringing episode 4 of my International Rainbow the Squad Builder series and today we are building a German Rainbow Squad in the 352 formation and if we get 30 likes on this video that would be absolutely amazing. Leave me some feedback in the comments down below what players you you would have chosen that I haven't and also what nation you want me to build next. I've done Spain, done Brazil, done England, now I've done Germany. Leave any other nations apart from them in the comments down below and I'll pick the most popular one. We're going to jump into this video now, guys. And starting off with the team, we do have Weidenfella, who had a great season for Dortmund, and somehow he's a non-rare card. You know, he's had a brilliant, brilliant season last year with Dortmund. They won so many cups, and then this year they got into the Champions League final. So hopefully next year he will be a rare card because he definitely deserves it. He's got 84 diving, 80 handling, 85 reflexes, and 83 positions. Very solid stats there for a non-rare card. He's six foot two, and he costs 1,500 coins. And then moving on to the first centre back of the team, and we do have Inform Haldes. He's a great defender, really did enjoy using him. He's a rock at the back, and he's got 73 pace, 70 passing, 83 defending, and 82 heading. And we paid 33,250 coins for him. Then on to the left centre back of the team, we do have Teemans, he's in Boateng. I really did enjoy his normal card, and to give him pace increase to 91, to 81, sorry, that is absolutely brilliant. He's so hard to get past, very strong, very fast, and very good in the air. So he's got 81 pace, 87 defence, and 88 heading. Very nice stats there. Also 81 passing, so very nice. And he was originally a CDM a last FIFA, I do believe, and he's very slow. So this year he's definitely got them deserved his stats that he's needed. And also he's a centre-back this year. So four-star weak foot, three-star skills. Played 237k for him. And definitely recommend you try him out if you do have the coins for him. And moving on to the right centre-back of the team and the final centre-back of the team. We do have Gonther, I believe that's pronounced his name. That's my best attempt anyway. And he does have 76 pace, 71 defending and 71 heading. Very solid card and not many people actually use this guy. And he's got 79 sprint speed so that is very nice to have. Very good player. And I didn't actually know about this player until I was actually building the squad. I really did enjoy using him as well. And he's got a 4 star week for He's 6 foot 1 and he cost me 300 coins. But I did have to buy a 3-5-2 formation card which they're costing around 1,000 coins at the moment. And I did have to buy them for a few of the players so the price of this team will actually be higher than the actual cost of the team when it does say on the player's card that I did pay for them. Because the 352 cards are going for about 1,000 to 2,000 coins at the moment on the PlayStation 3. Very expensive to what they used to be. But on this now, moving on to the CDMs. And the first CDM we do have is Team of the Season Road. He's a very rare card. He's originally a centre mid. I converted him down to CDM. He's got 77 pace, 75 passing, 77 dribbling, 75 defence and 75 heading. 75 heading. Very solid stats there for a CDM. And three star skills, three star weak foot. I paid 155k for him, so he's a very expensive card, or 165k, I'm not quite sure there. But he's costing that because he's a very rare card. There's not many of them on the market on the PlayStation 3, not quite sure on the Xbox market, but he's a very rare card as well as the other German, which is the Center 4 Cruise, the silver guy. They're both very rare on the market. And now moving on to the second CDM of the team, and we do have Hector. The non-rare bronze card, wasn't really expecting too much from him, didn't really get too much out of him as well. These are the most import important positions in the 3-5-2 in my opinion as well, the CDM spots. They have, they will make your team thrive on the in the defence and this going forward. So he's got 73 pace and 65 dribbling there with 60 passing and 62 defending. He doesn't have great stats as expected with his terrible... Non-rare bronze card, but nonetheless, he's got four-star weak for 400 coins for him, and he didn't really give me much. But I wasn't expecting too much because he was a non-rare bronze. But nonetheless, moving on to the right mid, and we do have Herbert, who does have team of the season card, uh, which is a gold. But unfortunately, we couldn't put that into this team. So 77 pace, 75 shots, 79 passing, 74 dribbling. And yeah, I wasn't too impressed with him. He cost me 19,000 coins. Got four star week for three star skills. He does have very good free kicks, but I couldn't take advantage of that. I uh, had a few free kicks with him, and I just couldn't manage to score any of them. Then moving on to the left mid, and we do have Scherler, who's by Munich, by Leverkusen version, who has moved to Chelsea now. So he's got 88 pace, 81 shot, and 74 passing, with 83 dribbling. Got four star week for four star skills. Played 2,300 coins for him, and he's a very enjoyable player to play with. 
Then moving on to the cam spot, and he's a very, very good player. Really did enjoy using him. We've got Mayer, I believe that's pronouncing his name. That's my best shot anyway. 84 pace, 63 passing, 66 dribbling, and 56 heading. And his shot is definitely a lie as well. Seven goals in seven games against goal players. That is incredible. He's a very good player. I really did enjoy using him. One of my favourites of the team. He's also got three-star weak foot and three-star skills. Paid 450 coins for him. Definitely well worth it as well. And then moving on to the strikers, and the first player we do have is one of my favourite strikers of the team and in this game is Malapa. 84 pace, that is just incredible. He feels quicker than 84 pace in games are. 67 shot, definitely is a liar. 64 passing, 73 dribbling, and 71 heading. Complete striker in my opinion. Just a great target man, and he's got the pace, strength, and a great finish as well. Three star skills, three star weak fit. Played 16,750 coins for him. And then moving on to the final player of the team, we do have man of the match, Mario Gomez. He's got 78 pace, 88 shot, 89 pass. So, I can't see that passing, 69 passing, 79 dribbling, and 87 heading. Very nice stats there on his card. He's got 4 star weak foot, 3 star skills, played 308k for him. So he's a very incredible player, really did enjoy using him. He had great ability, you know, he made great runs, great finish on him. A bit lacking in the pace, but I wouldn't really recommend you buy him. His normal car would just do you just just as good of as a job. So thank you very much, and guys, leave some feedback in the comments down below. As I did say, could drop a like on this video, and if you aren't subscribed to me, drop a subscribe button. I really appreciate all your support. And also, I'll see you on the other side while I talk to you over the goals. To start us off with the goals, guys, we do have Malapa, and he's an incredible player, and he was my favourite player of the team, of course, because he's one of my favourites in the whole entire game. So there's lovely through ball, he takes it down nicely, and then just bursts through on goal, and slots it very nicely past the goalkeeper. Very nice goal from Malapa there, and definitely caused my opponents in every single game many problems. He's got his pace, he's got his strength, and he's got a great finish. And here again, he receives the ball, uses that pace, then the old Russian goalkeeper completely misses the ball, and there's an open net from Malapa, just to slow it past him, has got a nice and easy goal. On to the next one. I've got Malap here doing a nice little bit of skill dribbling here. And dribbling work. And then finally getting past the final defender. Then muscling off that guy. And then slot into the bottom hand corner. Where the goalkeeper cannot reach it. Because too much power beyond the shot. And here's a lovely final goal from Malap here. Fake shot to fool the defender. And then the goalkeeper isn't going to save that. Outside of the foot shot and great finish. And here again Malapa. We're on to Mario Gomez's goal here. Malapa. Plays lovely chip through ball over the tops to Gomez, who chips it over to the on-rushing goalkeeper. Very nice finish from Gomez there. And he was my third favourite player of this team, Mario Gomez, man of the match. And here's a lovely goal. My opponent makes a mistake, and then I just on-rush to him, then fake shot past the last defender, then slow it past the goalkeeper. And here's a lovely through ball again. Gomez making a nice run. He's got very good uh, positioning and great running ability. You know, he's always in a great position to find him and pass the ball. And then he just finesses past the goalkeeper. And here's the second to last goal from Gomez here. Using a bit of pace and then at near post OP. And the goalkeeper couldn't get anywhere near it. And just goes straight into the back of the net. And here's the final goal. Great through ball there. And Mal Gomez, yet again, making a lovely run. He just finesses it past the goalkeeper. Very nice goal there from Mauro Gomez. And here on to my second favourite player of the team, which is Maya, the bronze cam. As I did say, he was an incredible player. Great finish there. And his shot is definitely in light. As you can see there, near post OP. Great finish. And the goalkeeper, no chance here again. We're using the... Um, bit of skill there and then finish it past the goalkeeper great and this is the pick of the bunch um, from Mayer's goal here look at that finish from a bronze cam who does have something like 40 something shot that is definitely like and he is a quality player absolutely brilliant them step overs with Mayer were very nice to do very clean and very enjoy using them here's a goal from the, the different players of the team there so we do have one from Hector the corner was found to get cleared and he smashed it into the top corner. The final goal is from Sherla, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you get 30 likes on this video, that would be absolutely amazing. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.